by the blood. Stained by the blood. One thing, uh, men and women of God, that we should see to it that we do not overlook tonight, amen, is that when you are connected to God, God is not going to allow anything and everything to happen to you. I think it's important that you understand that there are some struggles uh, in our daily walk with God that uh, it's mandatory that we go through. Uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, you have to understand that uh, every struggle is not the test. Some of our struggles was because of the mess. Uh, uh, we didn't have to go through everything that we went through. We, we didn't have to hurt sometimes the way we hurt. We, we didn't have to uh, uh, be in certain positions that we were in. It was not the will of God, but because God allows you to decide, uh, we made some decisions that put us through struggle. And the thing about that is none of us is exempt. I found out that everybody, sooner or later, will make a decision that we'll look back and say we could have made better choices. Uh, this is just the way that things are because our, our decisions, once we focus on them, they become teachers to our lives. Uh, sometimes it may take a while to get it, but when you finally get it, then you got it because I don't know about you or how you might see things, but I've been through some things where it looked like it was the right way to go. But after a period of time and I investigated where I was and where I am, I look back and said, I surely could have done better than that. And this is why uh, it will teach you some things if you ever get a grip on, on the things you've been through and start analyzing some things because maturity sometimes comes after the decision. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, it in these problems. Sometimes the maturity comes after the decision. And so in other words, if I was as mature as I am now, back then, I wouldn't have done what I did. I, I, I would not have said what I said. I would not have went where I went because my mind would have shown me a different route. Yes, 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 yes. Then there are some things that are mandatory. In other words, you cannot get by it. If you are going to progress in God, God has to introduce you to some paths that sometimes are uncomfortable. Uh, he has to introduce you to some ways that we prefer not to come in contact with. But the truth of it is, is that if we don't go through it, then we cannot progress or be promoted in the spirit. Can I help anybody here? So understand that there are times where our, our, our struggle our, will turn into our benefit because God is trying to take us somewhere uh, in the spirit realm that in order to get there, sometimes we got to shed some tears. I need a whole lot of help in here. Stop thinking that everything ain't going to be bright and sunny. You're going to face some things, but it's going to be for your better. Uh, the Bible would declare that all things work together for good. Before this plane uh, takes off into the atmosphere, we should really talk about something that is valuable uh, uh, in this portion of scripture because uh, there are times where uh, 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 you're not going through because you did anything, uh, but sometimes your struggle is because the enemy does not like your progress. Sometimes it's actually what you did, but it's not because you did wrong. What happens 
is, is that when the enemy feels threatened by your achievements, he will not sit there and let you to continue to achieve without trying to sabotage your prosperity. Can I get any help in here tonight? Lucifer does not want to see you prosper or go forward. What he wants to see you do is to fall in the middle of your struggle. This is why he wants you to think that it's worse than what it really is. This is why he wants you to believe that it's more harder than what it really is. He wants a mobile to look like a mountain. He wants a stream to look 